Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Center Circle. And I am Jeremy Brown. Reggae Boys head coach Hamer Holgrimson is currently preparing the team to face at Trinidad and Tobago in two friendly matches, with the first on Saturday in Montague Bay. But before that, we had a little chat with the man from Iceland about Jamaica. Out in the street, they call it It's nice. It's nice. Uh, always the same weather. Always a good weather. And I, I, I don't think you see it. You notice it. But it is probably the best weather in all the world. I've traveled a lot. And uh, it's a consistently good weather. I hope you, you realize how, how lucky you are living here. Are you saying then that this is the best place you have been? This is the best weather I've been at. Consistent now, I've, we've been here two months and uh, I think no day have been a bad weather day. Coming from, a, coming from a person living in Iceland, sometimes we have really rough weather. So you consider you, you, yourself lucky. Yeah. But what apart from the weather though, what, what is it that uh, grabs you the most so far in, ja in Jamaica? Uh, again, a little bit different. I'm a, I'm an, I'm a nature lover, so so that is what I feel is the the best thing about Jamaica is is the is the nature, is the, the the clear sea, the the green mountains, all the trees, everything uh, in the nature, the the mountains. Uh, that is what grabs me, and then it's the people as well, of course. Uh, very special people, welcoming. Smiling, laid back, maybe sometimes too laid back, but uh, yeah, the people, the nature, that, that is the most attractive thing about Jamaica. There are three other things about Jamaica, you haven't mentioned any of them. Okay. okay. I, I want to ask about the fort. Okay. Since, since you are happily married, right? So yeah. I want to ask about the fort. Okay, okay. Yeah, and so therefore, two of the three with the, the food and the alcohol. Mm, no, if the food is. I'm sorry, I'm offending many, but. Food has, I've, 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 uh, I've used, I'm used to better food coming from the, for, for example, the, the best fish in the world in Iceland. So we are used to good food. So that is not a surprise. Um, and then alcohol, not, not much in that area. Alcohol or drugs is not my speciality. So it doesn't interest me a lot. Well, not, not, not even the beer? No, I really don't like beer. Uh, Sometimes uh, a glass of red wine or a cognac, uh, but very, very low amount. Uh, very low amount. Mm -hmm. well, what about the beaches? Fantastic! It's one of the, the, the good things is the nature, the beaches, the, the clear sea, the, the the temperature of the sea. So it's. I hope you realize how lucky you are. Is there anything, anything, even a little beanie beanie tip? Of Say, why am I here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot of times I, I wonder why, why on earth did I pick this? But I'm not gonna go into the negative things because the culture, the, the culture, the culture difference is huge. So what I am used to is is totally different here. So it's me who have to adjust to your culture. So a lot of things that annoy me. Uh, but I'm not going to complain about it. It's something I have to work out, try to change or accept I, w I cannot change some things. But even if you don't tell me the major ones, just tell me one that one thing that... Uh, you, you, you spoke about the field before. So, so tell me something else, why you... What, what, yeah, I, th I think, I think the, what annoys me the most is that how, how slow sometimes things take, uh, how, how long time some, th some things take to, to happen. So you have to ask again and ask again and ask again to change some things, but yeah, man, yeah, man, it's coming. Uh, so that, that is, I, I'm just the opposite way. So I've, I'm struggled with some areas uh, I, and I, I like to be organized. So I plan ahead uh, and when things then, I need to plan again when some things change. I don't like that. So this is probably the thing that I'm struggling the most with here.
You, you keep saying sometimes about I'm preparing for the next coach. Is it that you're planning your way out already? No, 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 no. It's, it's planning far ahead. Uh, even though I will not be the head coach, just, you know, you, it will always be a successful journey if you plan ahead, if you plan even further ahead, because that day will come whether, you know, you plan for it or not. And if it's me, fantastic, then I will be the one reaping what we, what we are sowing. But, but in, like football is today, it's probably someone else. But anyway, I would like to leave the shirt, my shirt in a better place when I, when I go. And that is thinking ahead. Yeah. Then you cannot be thinking about only today. Then, you, then your shirt will be in the same place. Mm -hmm. So your, your, your first assignment in Jamaica comes up this weekend. And um, yeah. how, how do you feel about this moment coming up that you'll be on local side coaching? regardless of the opponent. No, I, I, I'm looking forward to it. I really wanted to play in Jamaica and I want to play more matches here in Jamaica because I think uh, it's both good for the national team to get closer to their fans. Uh, and it, but it's also good for the people to to be able, to be able to see the the team to be close to the to the team and that is one of the things we are considering how can we get the team closer to the people to connect better with the people with having open sessions with having the players talking more to the media when they come etc but then we have to be in the country for that to happen and, and, and I must ask you about Mariapa right he, he, he's um, 35 now is it that you're, you're putting him in his squad, keeping him there, groom him to be a part of your coaching staff? I've told him, and I'm not afraid to tell you, I think he has all the potential to become a really a good coach when he decides to become a coach. Uh, so I hope whenever he stops playing himself, he will, he will join the, the coaching staff of the Jamaican national team. Probably he will take some jobs prior to that, but I foresee him in the future being a really good coach. First, because of uh, his experience uh, at so many levels. Secondly, because he has been around the national team of Jamaica for a long time. And thirdly, because he is a, he's a fantastic human being. He, he, he clicks and connects to people, so it's easy for him to communicate. So I think he has all the attributes of being a, a really good coach. And then it's the question, does he want to? Finally, what would be the biggest moment for you, what to bring joy for you? <laughs> being in Jamaica, coaching in Jamaica? No, I, I like to see the team winning, uh, but most of all, I like to see the team progressing and play uh, a good, solid, united football so everybody can see it's a team, it's not a bunch of individuals because everybody knows we have, or Jamaica has a lot of good, talented players, but we need to build a strong team. And that's not only the 11 players on the pitch, it's the players who are not uh, on the pitch, it's the, the staff and it's the supporters and hopefully the media as well. So, you know, I, I like to to flock everyone around the, the team. That is my wish. If we can do that, we are a force to be reckoned with. Okay, coach. Thanks very much. But before you, you take the mic off, just give me something in Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me something. Tell me something about it. Yeah, man. Tell me something. No, I don't know. I, I don't know anything. All the, the words I know is, is inappropriate to say on TV. <laughs> <laughs>